get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I'm finally getting to go for a walk. After being cooped up in the house from all the snow and ice over the past week and a couple of days or so, I'm finally getting to get out and stretch my legs a little bit. Uh, I could go for a bike ride. It's not horribly cold out, but it is windy, and, well, I haven't felt like riding all winter, and I've only went for about one ride a, a week for the past, hmm, probably three months or so. What the heck kind of bird is that? Crazy loud bird. Anyway. We'll get a little bit of walk in, a little bit of video. A little bit of chit chat along the way, possibly. And yes, we were out of school again today. I know you're probably thinking, what? Why are you out of school? It looks clear. Well, the county roads get worse than the city roads. We have roads that are the back of the back, back end of back roads. And they get no sunlight. They get Nothing, uh, no scrapes, no ice, no nothing. So they don't clear up. Sometimes days after this clears up. And even our road right here that we live on didn't clear up until sometime yesterday. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, luckily, uh, I get paid whether I'm driving a school bus or not. Because I'm on contract. So we get paid all year round. Luckily, and I'm thankful for that. Hi, Shadow. How are you? You know, there's a... A lot, a lot that's not great about my job. Number one, we're severely, grossly, and embarrassingly underpaid. Lots of paperwork. Uh, you still, you have to do training every year. You have to do CPR and first aid every couple of years. Fingerprints every few years. Uh, your physical every year and then there's the pain of renewing your license every few years there's a lot that goes into it and uh, any of you out there that have a CDL uh, know where I'm coming from it's a pain so going through all that all the time and uh, being paid what we get paid is not great now for the hours that I work I make amazing money but that's not how you should look at it that's not how it should be judged you know supposedly we're carrying the world's most precious cargo so we should be getting paid that type of money But it is what it is, right? 
I did not put on my walking shoes. What was I thinking? I'm so used to putting these on. And these should have been in the garbage like three years ago. I bought shoes to replace these and I never wear them. But I have another pair that I always wear whenever I walk. And I just put these on like a dummy. I mean these shoes are worn out. Worn out. <laughs> they are way worn out. Pond back there, you probably couldn't see it, but it still looked like you had a little ice layer on top. Ah, home crap home. It's been days since I've gotten to get out and do anything. There's the pond back there. I'm gonna walk. We'll catch a video in a minute. And this is the back of the neighborhood. Now you don't know this, but I do my walks typically at night. Uh, just to be out there at night, it kind of changes the atmosphere a little bit. Gives you a little spookiness. Once you get back here in this back part, which is nothing really, it gets a little spooky. Cause you're out here at night, it's dark, and you got these trees. Can't really see nothing. So it does, it gets a little spooky. I ain't gonna lie, but I like it. Now this winter, I'm probably going to put on 20 dang pounds. And you're probably like, well, you can lose it over the spring and summer, Mike. No, I don't lose weight. Ever. But, there's a chance, since I haven't been riding much this winter, then I'm going to shock my body when I start riding again on a regular basis and more often there's a chance that I'm going to shock my body back into maybe dropping some weight like whenever I first started riding it took me you know several rides 
but eventually I started losing some weight and I got down to about 230 which is a weight I've not seen in 20 years so you know and after a while your body becomes used to that kind of stuff and riding a bicycle you know just your normal rides that you're used to doing no longer shock your body into dropping weight so whew, got some wind so maybe when I start back up riding anywhere from three to five times a week uh, I'll shock my body back into maybe dropping some weight that would be nice I don't like being heavy I like eating I can't help it I'm not super active I can't help it you know humans are not naturally you know go 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 you know we like to relax and, and chill and eat and relax and chill <laughs> so it's not easy being cheesy I shall continue to walk If I remember, I'll insert my map into the video just to kind of show you what I do. I just walk my neighborhood back and forth. And typically, I go uh, a mile and some change, or a mile and a half and some change, or two miles and some change. You know, it don't even out uh, to either, you know, a mile mile and a half or two miles you always get a smidgen over but that's uh that's typically what i walk any one of those Alright guys, winding it down. I think I'm going to stop. 
I'll be about 1.80 miles or mile by the time I get to my car. So, all right. Don't forget, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I try to give you decent content. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you get some inspiration. Don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Even when going for a walk. Beautiful day, too. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, and 